Right, as far as the 1.2, again, we're starting pretty basic here. Um, we're just talking about um, the expressions. So let's go through some terminology. Okay. The expression itself refers to a string of numbers or variables separated by operational symbols. Okay, so something like this is an example of an expression. Okay, the expression is made up of terms. Okay, so this whole thing is an expression. It's made up of individual terms. The terms are the portion of an expression that are separated by plus sign. Okay, so a term includes a negative. So something like this, 5x squared, can be thought of as being added to negative 2x, added to positive 1. Okay, the sign carries along with your terms. Okay, terms can be um, constants. Okay, a constant is a term that has just a number. Okay, there's no variable part. You can also have variables. in your terms. The variables are just the letters that are they're used to represent some unknown value or some value that can, can change or can be replaced with numbers later on. And, and then it also might have a coefficient, a term. And a coefficient is just a numerical multiplier in front of a variable part of a term. So negative 2 would also be an example of a coefficient. Right. That's the multiplier in front of the variable x. Okay. Now, if you take something that is written as an exponent, so let's take one individual term out of this, okay, and let's say we have x to the fifth. So here, if we're looking at this exponent, you're going to have several parts, so just terminology-wise. The base is whatever number is being multiplied by itself repeatedly. And then the power is the number of times that base is being multiplied by itself. So x to the fifth represents the base x being multiplied by itself five times. Okay, so it's the base times itself, the number of times that the power is. Okay. So in working with these, uh, it should be relatively straightforward. Okay, if I asked you to um, evaluate... Evaluate means you're going to find the value when, or find the value for. So I may ask you to evaluate something as simple as 5, let's say 5 to the 4th. Okay, so this means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, the base 5 times itself, the number of times is the power. Okay, when you use your calculator to evaluate this, okay, this caret symbol right here above the division sign is the power button. So 5 to the power of 4 is how you use your calculator to evaluate that. So 5 to the power of 4 is how we sub or enter that. Okay, which also means if you're entering your answer on the computer where you can't put superscript, okay, you can't put that exponent up there, what you have to use is the caret symbol. Where's the caret symbol on your computer keyboard? Okay, it's shift six. Okay, and so that will be part of your accepted answer. So if I asked, or first of all, so if I asked you to evaluate this, you enter it in your calculator, hit enter, so your answer is 625. If you had to enter something like this, 2x to the fourth, online, the way that you would enter this on the uh, Moodle assignment would be just 2x, carrot 4. You 
don't need to put other parentheses. You don't need to don't use X to represent multiplication. You don't need to use the asterisk key to represent multiplication. Okay? We're using what's called implied multiplication. 2X to the fourth would be our solution. Okay. Now, what if I ask you to evaluate this? Or if this was your answer. Now, would you write 2X to the fourth? Would that be the correct form of entering that? No. If there are parentheses in it, you would need to include that online. Or you could actually simplify it. So if we entered this on our calculator, okay, so 2x to the power of 4, again, putting that in parentheses, and we hit enter, it would give us our simplified form, which would be 16x to the 4th. Again, with the caret symbol to represent that if you had to enter your answer online. Like I said, as, as these come up uh, in homework, Hopefully you have class time to complete all, if not the majority, of your homework. So if you ever have a question on how to enter something, just ask me. Um, and even on a quiz or a test, if you enter something and it winds up being right, but you just didn't get the right, or you just put a different form, you'll still get at least partial credit for it. Um, I can go in and make changes to the acceptable answers for that.